we figured out a strategy to beat Sand Isles with only two players and make it look easy. We're going to give ourselves three attempts to beat it. But if we can't, we have to donate 10 ultimate units to our fans. So make sure to speed run that like button and also subscribe, guys. All right, Pip. I have assembled the most OP squad to beat Sand Isles ever created. Wait, what are you talking about, Louie? What is your squad? Well, buddy, I have myself the future large clock man, which has a lot of range and damage and can also slow down the unit. But we're also bringing back a classic today. The Green Laser Cameraman! You can never forget about the Green Laser. It will forever be good. Yep, not to mention, though, we're having the Santa, the Scientist, and also the Leprechaun, just for a little bit of extra help. But anyways, buddy, I think it's time to get over to Sand Isles and show everybody how easy it can be. Let's get her done. Let's go! So follow me, buddy. I'll show you how to do this. So, buddy, to start us off, we need to go ahead and start giving ourselves some Santas, okay? That is the main strategy. Sir, yes, sir, but, um, wait, uh, shouldn't we put down units first? Well, we could if you want to, but I think this is the strategy to win, buddy. We need to auto-skip, place down some Santas, and get some green lasers straight off the bat. It doesn't matter if we take a little bit of damage, okay? Oh, you're right, because we can actually upgrade the Titan Sandman's hideout to have way more health. Yep. And all we have to do is basically just get these Santas down, put down some green lasers, and we can just start upgrading this hideout if we want to. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade it any second now. I wonder if it gets way bigger, too. It probably will. But anyways, buddy, I'm putting down some green lasers now. I'll take this side and this side where my Santas are. Oh, you already seem to have a green laser. Okay, I'll take this side and I'll take this side. And this should be good enough to help us out, okay? Definitely, and I can't wait. Yeah, but Pip, we need to stop focusing about the range of the future large clock, man, and start focusing on our Santas. We need as much money as we can get from these guys, okay? Why do we need so much money, Louie? Well, if we need to upgrade these future large clock, man, we're gonna need a ton. Oh, you're right. It costs $1,500 just to even put it down. Yeah, it's quite expensive, buddy. But look, we have a green laser right here. And uh-oh, it's not killing these assassin toilets as quick as I was hoping. We might need to start upgrading our green laser sometime soon. And our hideout seems to have already taken some damage, Louie. That is definitely your fault. Oh, well, don't worry. It doesn't matter if our hideout takes damage. We can just upgrade it. You two have a point. Yeah, but Pip, I need to go ahead and start placing down some good units. So I'm going to start putting down this scientist clock man because this guy will get us 200 extra dollars every round. And he also puts down these barriers that slow down those toilets getting over here. Oh, that looks really okay. Look, he has a 3,000 health barrier. And I know if you upgrade the scientist, he will even have a little minigun on top. Yep, and uh, buddy, I'll be doing that soon. But let's go ahead and skip a wave really quickly, put down another scientist, and now we have a bunch of extra units that will make us money and also that will do a lot of damage. I'm making so much money right now. Look, I've got three Santas that are all at least level two. All right, well, how are your green lasers coming along, Pip? Are they doing a lot of damage? They are absolutely scrumptious right now. Uh, scrumptious? Uh, you know what? You didn't have to say that, Pip. That was a strange little word I heard you say. I've been starting to use more big words. I've been going to college. But like scrumptious? That's a weird word, Pip. Well, what else do you expect me to say? Do you expect me to say delicious or exquisite? Usually, yeah, yeah, usually that is a pretty good word to say, too. Mm -hmm. Fine, how about I say, Louis, your giot is just scrumptious. Um, did you just call my giot scrumptious? Bro, get out of here! Who are you to say that? Oh, well, who am I? My name is Pip, and I am a toy tower defense YouTuber. Yeah, and, uh, you definitely sound like a toilet tower defense YouTuber. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, don't ask! But anyways, Pip, I just got us to wave seven, and now I can upgrade one of my scientists! Now I have this little time gun barrier, and this guy is ready to rock! Look at him! Anyways, we are doing ten 10,000 more damage, and at the same time, we're getting that 500 extra dollars every round. We're making that money, money, but oh no, a boss toilet just spawned. Uh, a boss toilet? Like, that's going to stop us, Pip. We have some very strong units, don't we not? You're right, come on. I want to actually skip this wave, because I can put down my future large clock man any second now. All right, well, go ahead and skip it, Pip. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Now my future large clock man is placed to he is able to hit both of my lanes at the same 
game time. All right, well, that's good. You know what? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a future larger clock man down here, and boom. Now he can hit all of these lanes at the same time, which means I'll be able to do about as much damage as you're doing right now, Pib. No, no, no. I'm going to always do more damage than you because I'm better at the game. Uh, you're not always going to be doing more damage than me. And also, we could probably get rid of our green lasers now. Because technically, these future large clockmen do more damage. And they slow the toilets faster. And they slow the toilets more than the green laser. I don't know, Louis. I don't know if I want to get rid of my green lasers. They are all reliable after all. All right. Well, you know what, buddy? Let's go ahead and just keep upgrading these future large clockmen. And then we'll start worrying about that. Yes, sir. But, oh. Oh, these minigun toys are getting past. Well, don't you have one of those future large clock men? Why don't you use that? Oh, you're right. I forgot that future large clock men is way too OP for me to be complaining. Yep, and the best part is, look, I just upgraded mine. So now it's doing 12,000 DPS. This thing is super OP off the bat. We're already on wave 10. We just need to go 40 more waves. 40 more waves? That's easy, buddy. We can do that in our sleep. Yep, and the good thing about the future large clock men is I have a time for the ability, which I don't think I should use it right now because I can only use it once every five minutes. Yep, so buddy, make sure to keep that maybe for later waves. You need to make sure that those toilets do not get through and with our future large clock men having no abilities, uh, we probably won't be able to stop the toilets, so make sure to keep that at the ready. That would be what the Spanish say. No bueno. Yeah, no bueno at all, buddy. I do need to start upgrading my Santas, so I'm going to get started on that. I need to make sure that we skip some waves, get some Santas upgraded, and boom. Now I'm making, like, at least $4,000 every round. We should be able to slow down these toilets so easily now. These toilets do not know what's coming. And, spoiler alert, death is coming for them. Yeah, death is definitely coming for them. And, buddy, I just upgraded the Sandman's hideout. Now this thing has way more health. We should be able to survive a few more hits. Wait, do you have a leprechaun cameraman? Because I brought my leprechaun here. Pretty good, Pip, but I was hoping we would use these leprechauns to boost the range of our future large clock man. Look, I can go over here to mine, upgrade this leprechaun right here in the middle, and boom, it boosts the range of my future large clock man by a ton! This guy does a bunch more damage now! That is pretty cool, Louis, but frankly, I don't care! Well, why don't you care? This is literally an OP strategy. You should be caring right now. Nah, I'm gonna do my own oh thing. Oh my gosh, of course you will, Pip. You're just like that, aren't you? Look, I can use my Titan Fan Man, and I'm gonna put this bad boy right here. All right, well, that's pretty good. This Fan Man can actually blow some of the toilets back to spawn, which is a very nice thing to have. Yeah, this dual blade toilet, you are not going to our hideout. Sorry. Yeah, these dual blade toilets will not get anywhere with us in the way, but I need to wait until we make a bit more money so I can start upgrading my Santas a little bit more. I think there's still a toilet or two we're missing, and oh, there it is. Don't worry, this bad boy is about to perish. He's about to die. All right, good job, Pip. We're totally doing so much damage now. There's no way we can lose this. We have been practicing St. Isles a ton, and we know the best strategy to win. Yep, and this is exactly it. Just use the future large clock, man, paired with some green lasers and also some Santas. And not to mention, slap some scientist clock men in there. They are pretty useful, too. And the cherry on top is, of course, the Titan Fan Man. Oh, yeah. For real, buddy. For real. Titan Fan Man definitely does a very good job of blowing the toilets back. And that is exactly what we needed to do. If it doesn't blow the toilets back, then what is the point? The only sad thing is it's kind of sucky until you upgrade it to max level. Like, look, it can do up to 80,000 DPS. Right now, it's only doing 4,000. that is so garbage. But anyways, Pip, look. I've got a Mutant Toilet 2.0 over here. And I am destroying it. This future large clock man is so much stronger than I thought it would be. Yeah, why do you think I have it equipped? Um, I just thought you had it for, like, I don't know, um, an accessory. I thought you were using it like an accessory or something. No, that's not how it works for me. Every decision I make Bruh. is... Aha, uh -huh, strategic. That sounds about right, Pip, but I, I don't know about that. You don't make many strategic decisions in your life. Yes, I do, Louie. Why do you think I'm always beating uh, you? No, 
you're not. You're never beating me. What are you talking about? And Pip, don't worry, buddy. I just put another future large clock man near your side so that if anything gets past your fan man, you will be able to start destroying them with this fan man and your little one over here. I appreciate it, Louis, but nothing is getting past this tiny fan man. Not on my watch. All right, well, let's hope so. Because, buddy, if anything gets passed, I'm going to be very disappointed. Oh, well, you will not be disappointed in me. Because I just put down another tiny fan man. And now I have a tiny fan man in all of my lanes. Bro, you are literally crazy. You have two titan fan men down. And I just have a few of these future large clock men. Because I know these guys are so strong. They can take out these toilets without even worrying about it. And Pip, one thing I'm worrying about is uh, what if we lose? If we have like three chances and we fail, we have to give away an ultimate unit. Well, we aren't giving away an ultimate unit today because we are already roaring. And wait, you just upgraded our bases. Yes, yeah, now it has 3,000 health. Bruh. There's no way we lose. Bro, this is definitely the best strategy in the game. Only they added a Sand Isles leaderboard, so we could become number yeah, one. Yeah, we would be on number one, buddy. We would probably be like number zero because we we would be that good. And then we get to sing that song. Oh, how does it go? We are number one. Hey! Okay, okay, <laughs> Pip, calm down, calm down. You're gonna get us copyrighted. Oh, who cares about getting copyrighted, Louie? What's the worst that can happen? Um, I lose my home and I go homeless. Well, that sounds kind of fun. No, no, being homeless is not a fun adventure, buddy. It never is. Well, if you're homeless, why don't you just buy a um, home? Pip, it's not that easy. Do you think homeless people would be on the street if they could just buy a house? Oh, don't. Donald Trump got a small load of a million dollars, so can you? No, I, I can't. I'm not that rich. Oh, well, if you don't have money, just get money then, bro. Um, it's not that easy, Pip. You're saying just get money. Bro, I'm trying to get money. That is why I make these videos. Hee <laughs> hee. Yep, just get a job. Flipping burgers Bro. and... No, zone. I'm not wrapping up those fryers. Not today and not tomorrow. Well, I would love to flip burgers. That sounds so cool. I used to love watching SpongeBob SquarePants, and I always wanted to do SpongeBob's job. Uh, yeah, well, the thing is, buddy, it's not as fun as it looks on SpongeBob. But anyways, the thing is, I do like making toilet tire defense videos, so I prefer having this as my job. Hey, this is your job, Louie. I thought you were just addicted to this but game. No, I just really, really like making toilet tire of its videos for you guys. Uh-huh. Sure thing. Whatever you say, big boy. Uh-huh. 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 I'm telling the truth, buddy, okay? I'm telling the truth. You pinky promise. Of course I pinky promise. Why would I not? If, if you really want me to pinky promise, I, I will. I will. I'll do it. All right. Well, booty promise. Come on. Let's shake our booties together so you can promise. What? Ew. Get away from me. What, what the heck? This is how I promise stuff to my friends. I do the booty promise. Uh, guys, I had to escape Pip. I'm literally hiding in the sand castle right now. This is scary. I I can smell you with my booty, Louie. Where no, are you? No, you can't. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Is that the smell of you or is that the smell of my booty? I'll never oh, know. Oh, no. You know what, babe? Stop being a weird. Start focusing on saving yourself from those toilets, though. I'm trying, but it costs $30,000 to upgrade my Titan Fan Man. How do they expect me to get this kind of money in this economy? Uh, well, maybe you should just, like, get a small loan of a million dollars. No, Louie, that's not how that uh, well, then why was it how it works when it came to me? Because your situation is no, different. my situation is never different, Pip. Anyways, Pip, I'm making a bunch of money now, so I'm pretty much uh, just chilling. I mean, look, there's some rocket toilets trying to get through, but they won't get very far. Not to mention, my future large clock man is destroying everything. It's doing so much damage. Is it though? I don't think uh, it well, is. Well, it's trying. And you know what? I'm even going to put down another one here just to help it out. I now have two uh, future large clock men destroying the competition. Pip, look at these laser scientist toilets thinking they can get through. These things are doo-doo, and that's why they're dead dead. Oh, come on. I want to use my time free soon. There's got to be some really difficult toilets I can use. Yeah. We are halfway through this. It's really, really hard. But I'm pretty sure in 25 waves, that's when things are going to start picking up a notch. Buddy, we've got this laser scientist tool over here with a lot of Pip, why don't you kill it? Oh my gosh, do I really have to help you out? Yes, Louie, it's so difficult. 
no. Oh my gosh, it's not difficult. It's just you haven't got any units over here helping you out. No, no, no. I'm using my time freeze. Sorry. All right. Well, time freeze it up in here, buddy. But you do need to start worrying about placing more future large clockmen because without them, you're doing no damage. Well, I'm trying to save up to upgrade my time frame, man, to max level where all right, well, Pip, maybe you should start blazing down some future large clockmen like over here just to help me out and also help you out. Nah, I'm gonna get my own thing. Oh, you are so mean. I'm not mean. I'm just being but honest. But Pip, be careful. We only have one time freeze left, okay? Oh, well, how do we only have one time freeze left? We just have to wait a few minutes for it to regenerate. Yeah, that's the problem. We are going to have to wait ages for this time freeze, which is going to be a problem if any toilets start getting through. Uh, Louis, in life, you have to be patient. Yeah, well, hopefully I can afford to stay patient, Pip, because uh, it's not going to be easy when my future large clockmen are not that strong. It is pretty easy, Louis. You just got to get good. Ah, uh, sure. Well, you know what? I guess I will get good then. I'm going to start upgrading my scientist clockman, okay? All right, Louis, you do you. I will, buddy. I will. It might just take me a few more rounds to save up this amount of money, though. I'm going to need 15000 dollars just to be able to upgrade these guys and i'm pretty sure we are going to need to start placing more of these future large clockmen soon okay oh man i'm trying to save up for this titan fan man though because if i can upgrade this titan fan man to max level i'll never have to worry about this lane ever again uh, okay well you know what pip i'm going to upgrade some future large clockmen nearby just in case you do need a little bit of assistance uh, thank you. i'm pretty sure the only lane i have to worry about is right over here since my are not really upgraded. Yeah, well, I have two lanes that I'm worrying about, but right now, my green laser and my future large clockman are dealing with these toilets so easily. I don't even need to worry right now. And I thought sand aisles was difficult, but nope, it is easy as pie. Yeah, they've changed it and made it way easier. They changed sand aisles? Oh, yeah, it used to be really hard. Remember when we completed it for the first time, Pip, and we were feeling crazy? Yeah, now it's not so easy. Yep, now it's way easier than it was before. Not to mention, I just upgraded our sand hideout. So we have 7,500 health. We can take so many hits from so many toilets now. This is about to be crazy. Yep. Pip, just take a look-see at this. I have a bunch of these leprechauns placed down doing some damage. I have these future large clockmen doing a bunch of damage and having a huge range. All I'm going to do is just put another leprechaun right in the middle of them. And now I have two more future larges that have so so much more range. Come on, but I'm about to upgrade my Titan Fan Man. And look, he gets 80,000 PP. Okay, that is pretty goaded, Pip. That is insane. But Pip, you know what else would be insane? If we managed to complete Sand Isles with no problems. I don't think we'll take any more damage. You're 30 damage earlier in the round, but I'm pretty sure that was just your fault. So I'm blaming what? you. What? That wasn't my fault. That was uh, both of our faults, I would say. Uh huh. Sounds like a way to defend. Uh, no, no, I'm not deflecting any blame, actually. But what I am deflecting is these toilets. These guys have a million health. Not even they can survive the future large clockman's greatness. No, oh, and speaking of greatness, my future large clockman's time ability is coming back in 20 seconds. So just try not to die in 20 seconds, Yeah, please. it seems like my future large clockman's ability is coming back soon as well because you used me. Bro, you are literally so annoying sometimes. You love just stealing my abilities. And wait, what is this? Why does this toilet have such a weird face? Wait, such a weird face? I didn't know they added a Louis no, toilet. No, just look at this one. It has some cheekbones and it also has like a really weird nose. Its nostrils are on top Whoa. of its nose. Please just kill it. I never want to see this dude's face in her Yeah, neither do I. Bro, cover it up. Put a bag on it. Uh, yeah, we're going to cover it up by sending it six feet under. Yep. Goodbye, giant smooth toilet. It was fun knowing you. <laughs> Dead! It was not fun knowing it, to be honest. You're kind of right, buddy. But anyways, I need Bruh. to go ahead and upgrade my next scientist clock, man. Then I'll start making $10,000 every single round. I will be unstoppable! $10,000? I'm only making, what is that, Oh, well, that's just a skill issue, Pip, because you're using Santas, and I'm using Santas plus the scientists. Come on, I didn't think scientists would be that OP. Oh, trust me, buddy, they are extremely OP. But anyways, I need to start putting down some more future large clock, man. I'm going to put another one down and start upgrading it. I need to do as much damage as it is possible to do. Well, we are doing as much damage as it is possible to do, because every single 
dollar we are making is, is being reinvested into our units. It basically calls Mr. Beast right oh, now. Oh, yeah, we totally are just like Mr. Beast, just without the money. Oh, no, I have $9,000, so I might as well be Mr. Beast. Uh -huh. Well, Pip, I have $1,000. That is kind of poor, if you ask me. It's the guy who said he made $10,000 around. Uh, I made $10,000 around, but I spent it all, buddy. But anyways, let me go ahead and get rid of one of my green lasers. Then I can put one of my future larges right here in the middle. Now I can just slow all the toilets that come straight out of the enemy spawn right away. Now I should be able to kill toilets before they even get to the castle. Not to mention, I'll probably put another one right here, and this will slow down more of those toilets. Now, Pip, I'm chilling like a billy. Yes, we are. Bruh. Come on, we're already on wave 35. Only 15 waves left to go, and we are still not seeing any struggle. This might be the easiest game of Toilet Tower Defense I've honestly ever played. Yep, I'm hoping you're right, buddy, but things will start getting a bit more difficult from here. I'm pretty sure this Sand Isles mode has a final boss, and that thing is extremely strong. And also, look at these toilets coming through. These guys have 1.5 million health. If it wasn't for our future large clock, man, we would be struggling right now. No, but you might as well remove that word from your vocabulary because there's no such thing as struggling in the Pip and Louie household. Okay, well, you always say that, but then we always start struggling right after it, so uh, I don't know what to believe, Pip. Well, no Knock on wood, we won't die. Uh, well, I'm knocking on wood right now, and it's, um... Yes, it is, Louis. Yes, it is. All right, all right. Knock all right, wood. fine, fine. I'm knocking on wood. I'm knocking on wood. But, Pip, I'm pretty much fine. My side is literally unstoppable. I have no way of losing. I just need to upgrade these future larges to max level now, and I'm all good. I am all good as well. I have two fully maxed out Titan Fan Man, and I am going crazy. Yeah, well, I have basically a bunch of maxed out future large clock men, and these guys are doing some damage, but not as much as I was hoping for. Do more damage, Louis. Not that hard. Uh, Pip, we're on wave 37. I'm doing as much damage as I can. Just a few more waves. Yeah, I guess we're okay, though, because we only have to start worrying soon. Also, we have our time stop ability. Like, we don't even have to worry anymore, really. Can I use the time stop ability right now, Louis? No, you're not you're not using the time stop ability, Pip. You're gonna you're gonna waste it. Oh, no, it. you're always wasting the abilities. Maybe you can use the time stop later on, but not right now, okay? Hey, Louie, I'll use the time freeze right now. No, no, don't do it. Okay. Don't do it. Don't I'm, do I'm it. Just I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Louie. Chill Kid, out. If you did that, I would have been so angry. <laughs> Oh, well, if I can make Louie angry by just pressing one button, then I might think about doing it. No, no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't think about doing that at all because I would destroy you if you did. All right, Louie, I'm doing it. Are you kidding me, Pip? We needed that for wave 50. <laughs> well, wave 50 will probably be here in longer than five minutes, so we'll be fine. Uh, okay, well, we'll see about that. Uh, well, Pip, I hope it was worth it because now there's a parade rocket launcher coming to my side. And this thing is a little bit strong. Stronger than I'd like to see. Don't worry, Louie. If it gets too far, we can just use our time freeze ability. Uh, yeah, the time freeze ability that you used. Oh, yeah. I forgot about oh, that. Oh, my gosh, Pip. If we lose, I'm blaming this all on you. Straight up. Oh, I'm going to blame it on you. Because, look, you are, uh, I don't know what you're doing. But you're probably not doing very uh, good. I'm doing just fine, Pip. I'm doing great. You're the one who's doing bad. Oh, my God. I have two max level Titan Fanmen, and no toilets can even think about getting past uh, them. You're doing bad because uh, you are, Pip. You're literally time freezing when you don't need to, and you're letting toilets get to our side, and uh, you're making me take a bunch of damage. You know, that kind of thing. Sounds like a personal problem. Mm -hmm. Well, it will be a personal problem for both of us when a toilet gets to our hideout. No toilets are getting to our hideout. Like, look, these toilets are trying, but it is not working out for them. Uh -huh. Well, some of these toilets are managing to get a little bit far, but some of them are managing to get fully to the end where our sandcastle is, which is pretty good. But since this sandcastle has a lot of health, I think we might be able to take a few hits from some big toilets. And our hideout is max level, so that's 7,500 health. That is a lot of health for a hideout. Yeah, I kind of wish I could upgrade it a little bit more, though. Imagine if we could just keep spending money to upgrade it and upgrade it an infinite amount of time to, like, I don't know, 
level 100. Yeah, we would literally be OP at that point. There would be no stopping us. I'm pretty sure there is no better strategy in toilet catapults than the strategy we're using right now. So, guys, comment down below if you have a better one. Yeah, there's not many people who have better strategies than me. And wait, what? What, what is going on? What is this toilet doing? It's called an Astro Soldier toilet, and it's spinning around really fast. Hey, little Louie, stop complaining. I wish I could, but I don't know what's going on. What is it doing? It's trying to twerk on you, Louie. It's trying to distract you with the power of Gion. Yeah, and it's doing a bad job. I have better dance moves than this guy. Look, I'm doing the spin. Louie, mama, why is Louie throwing his booty out? Uh, I'm not throwing my booty out. I'm throwing my booty across the floor. Look at me. Woohoo! Nah, I don't think I want to look at you doing All that. All right, fine, fine, whatever, Pip. But I need 30 more dollars to be able to get another future large clock man to max. And we have 100 seconds left until our ability is back in stock. And what if I use it as soon as it comes back? I would quit the game, Pip. I would quit the game, and I would delete your Roblox account. Oh, you don't even have access to my Roblox account, but come on, we have just six more ways Okay, well, I've only got one more future large clock man to max out. Yes, only we do it. Get your money up, not your I'm body I'm doing up, it, I'm doing it. Just give me a second, Pip. Just give me a little moment to, uh, to get some abilities ready, you know, to uh, do some auto-skipping, get some money together, just like this. And boom. Now all of my future larges are maxed out. And there's physically nothing else I can upgrade. Maybe you should put down more little units. Let me, come on, I've only placed down 10. What? You've only placed down 10? Place down more. I've placed down all 15. I need to place down more. I'm doing a-okay with just that. Yeah, well, maybe you should help me out over here. Do you mind putting maybe down a Titan Fan Man to uh, kind of help me out over here? Nah, I'm good. Uh, what do you mean you're good? Pip, help me. Uh, wait, are you getting attacked by an Astro Toilet? <laughs> Come on, time freeze, time freeze! Uh, Pip, you can't time freeze because you wasted it! Oh, if this Astro Toilet kills us, I'm blaming this all on you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And Oh, we took barely any damage. What? Oh, yeah, all these toilets can come to our hideout. Come on, we should have a toilet party at our hideout because it has so much health. Uh, no, 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 Pip. Pip, about that. No, we should not. The party is this way, guys. Pip, maybe you should start putting down some future large clock men as well, because it seems like you're not even doing anything. Fine, Louie. I guess I'll put down the little doo-doo future large clock men to basically do nothing. Oh, I thank you, Pip. We literally would have died if this was the old sand hideout mode. We would have literally taken, like, a thousand damage, and that would have been it. But it's a good thing we can finally upgrade this castle. Come on, Louie. We are going crazy. We've only taken not even a thousand damage, but we have four waves left. And it's only going to get harder from and here. Yeah, and Pip, you should probably get rid of that little green laser of yours. Because this thing technically is useless. You could delete this and put more money into the future large clock, man. To slow down the toilets better. Fine, let me go ahead and get rid of this green laser. Yep, you better. Because, Pip, my side is deadly protected. And your side is still letting toilets through. Especially this side. There's no unit here protecting you. Other than the fan man. <laughs> literally OP, though. He's doing 80,000 DPS. Yeah, but if this fan man falls asleep, you're gonna have some problems. Like, all the toilets will just walk through. Nah. Uh, and Pip, what is going on? Why are there just glitched toilets walking across the map? They're not even on the track. I do not know what they're doing. Evan, did you break the... Pip, this isn't fair. Why did they just glitch the glitch toilets to glitch across the map and go into my spawn? They're your problem now, buddy. Bro, that was not fair at all. That was not fair. I don't know. I don't care what you say. Well, Pip, make sure you keep this lightning time stop because we're on wave 47 right now. Once wave 50 comes, that is when we go into action and we go crazy. Crazy. Are you going crazy? Let me go ahead and put down some more future large clockmans. It seems like these future large clockmans might actually be pretty good. And you should also put your leprechauns next to them to give them more Bruh. range. That would be a way better idea. Fine, Louis. I guess I'll do your dumb little leprechaun strategy. Yeah, but make sure your leprechauns are next to your fan man as well. That will make sure he has a lot of range. You're always caring about this range stuff. Why do you like range so range much? Range is very important. If your units have more range, then that means you'll be able to reach across the whole map. I mean, look, this fan man over here has 65 range. But if you come over here, this fan man has 71, which is basically like having a whole new upgrade on your unit. That is pretty good. Having extra range might as well be having an extra W in the bag. Oh, yeah, buddy. But here we go. We're about to kill the rest of these little toilets here. This Destructor Astro Toilet is looking pretty darn deadly. But I'm pretty sure I can just... 
But I'm pretty sure I can defeat it just in a moment. Let's see here. Come on, come on, come on. It has 2 million health left. That's still a lot of health. I should be able to just finish it off with a few more hits from my futures. And boom. We did it. Now we're on what wave? 48? 48. And here we go to win the race. Pip, I don't care what it takes. Let's just win this race. Two more waves. Only we, if we lose on like wave 49, I think I'm just going to uninstall you. Um, uninstall me? What do you mean uninstall me? I will not go into detail. Okay, well, Pip, you know what? I'm going to start selling my sands Bruh. now and replace them with a future large clockman. Boom. I have one of them placed down. Bruh. Now let me get another one placed down like this. And then finally, my last Santa can be sold. And I'll place this guy down. And now, I have pretty much as many future large clockmen as it's possible to place in, in Toilet Tower Defense. Are you sure you should have sold your units, Louie? You know when that boss toilet comes, we have to move all of our units. Which means having to use a lot of extra well, money. Well, that might actually be a bit of an L that I just took. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, we have the time freeze. All right. I hope the time freeze works. And... I hope we still have the time freeze. <laughs> Pip, don't you dare use it. If you use it and we lose, I'm going to be very angry. Mom, it would be so funny. It would be very not funny, actually. Whatever. All right, we are 89% of the way through wave 49. I just have to kill these three toilets right here, and we will be sent to the last wave in the sand oil. Yep, I still have a few toilets I need to kill myself, Pip, so just give me a little moment here. Mom. We were trying to beat Sand Isles. Kill it already. I'm doing my best. Just give me a second. These toilets are still quite strong, okay? Literally only have one toilet left, and the other toilet is just standing there AFK. Yeah, he, he just wants to chill out, you know? He's chillaxing. He's chillaxing, and now he's dead. Boom, he's dead. Another one bites the dust. All Woo! right, Pip, but we have one last toilet. This guy is really annoying. Look at him just spinning around. He's so annoying. Keeps being a nuisance. Don't worry, Louie. You've got yeah, him. Yeah, he's kind of like the glitch toilet, but more annoying. But there we go. I killed it. And now we're on wave 50. Here comes the final wave. Final <laughs> boss. And, bud, I'm going to be honest. I think we have definitely made Sand Isles look super easy. There's no way that anyone has just breezed through it as fast as we have. Even if all of these toilets get to our hideout, I don't think we'll die. Uh, well, if, they, if every single one of them did, we would. But most of them won't because we have our extremely strong units. Evil toilet crab alert! Evil toilet crab alert! All right, alert. where is it? Okay, it's on the other side of the map. Are you kidding me? Okay, let me start selling my futures. Let me start selling them and moving them over, okay? Quick, Louie, we don't have all day. I'm getting them moved. I'm moving them. I'm moving them. Okay, let's just get this. Move uh, this leprechaun cameraman over here. And let's just slap as many future large clock men as we can. Upgrade them like crazy, Pip. Selling all my other units. I need to use every single dollar I have over yep, here. Yeah, go crazy. Go stupid. Go crazy. Go stupid. Come on, upgrade this. Put down this tight little fan. His yep, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Just go crazy with the upgrades, but don't stop. I'm not stopping, but come on. We do have this toilet over here that might be a little bit of a problem. Uh, I don't think it will be. As long as we have our future larges, we're okay. Okay, I still have a few more that I need to move over. To help you out with that toilet, I'll put some future large clock men over here. Max this guy out, and then I'll max this guy out as well. And that should be able to help you out over there. But we should be able to kill this crab in no time at all. We're gonna be fine, buddy. Don't you worry. And if we start struggling, we have our lightning time stop. We should use it when it gets right here so all of these units can have a slap at Yep, him. sounds like a good idea. Come on, three, two, one. One, and time freeze! Uh, Pip, time freeze, time freeze, time freeze, go! Uh -oh, uh -oh. And the toilet crab is dead. And here comes the next one. Here, all we have to do is just move all our units back over. Come on, Pip, start selling, start selling. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. We have to pick up and move It's him. a hard day's work picking up and moving all our units, but we have one. We just have to kill this last it's one. It's hard enough 
life. Here we go. And I'm pretty sure we just made a fool out of this game mode. And we just got 2,000 coins. Yep, this is a get rich quick scheme. Yeah, that is how we do it, Pib. Good stuff. Anyways, let's get back to the lobby. All right, guys. We managed to beat that summer event, but I'm still feeling a little bit bad. So you know what? Still going to do that ultimate unit giveaway at the end of this video. So guys, if you want a chance at getting an ultimate unit, comment down below ultimate in your username and then also like and subscribe. And you might be in for a chance to win. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like this one, then make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's go! Let's go!